There are times in the life of a person when you feel like God has taken a break from you or that God is doing absolutely nothing concerning your needs and desires. I must say, it is never an easy time in your life because your emotions get involved and your mind also. You start engaging your mental realm instead of the spiritual realm to try and find answers that can explain what is happening in your life and why God is silent on you. I know you might be going through such a moment right now and you do not know what to do about it. Your matter may be more than urgent to you and yet it seems and it feels like God is not responding to you. I know that if you did not have the evidence that God hears all your prayers and sees all your heart's desires as witnessed in the Bible, you would have concluded that God has shut his ears against you. But because you know that he hears and sees you when it feels like God is doing nothing, you might be tempted to think that God is punishing you or that you have done something wrong to cause God to shut you off. I am here to assure you that God is not interested in all and will never punish you for any wrongdoing. God is gracious and his grace abounds for you always. Also, God cannot shut you off. How can he when he clearly says that whoever is joined unto us, his spirit is one with him? You see, he cannot separate himself from you once he indwells you by his Holy Spirit. God will never ignore you. The only prayers that he does not hear are those of sinners of which you were once upon a time. But now he hears every word you utter because you are his child. And we have this confident assurance from the book of John 9:31 that says, Now we know that God heareth not sinners, but if any man is a worshiper of God and doeth his will, him he heareth. You see, God hears you. And he hears to answer you as he promises us in the book of 1 John 5, 15 that says, And if we know that he hears us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. When the answer seems to tarry, and when it seems like God has not met our desires, it does not mean that God is not doing anything. God does not move according to our timings, but according to his timings for us. He will never do something for you too early or too late. He does things at the perfect time, at his time. Therefore, when it feels like God is not doing anything, take it to mean that it is not the perfect time. Stir your inner self and exercise your staying strong in faith and prayer until the ideal time comes. Do not go around murmuring and discussing how God has not done this and that for you, but rather hold your peace and keep trusting God. Let me remind you of the story of Abraham. Here we have a man called Abram who receives an excellent promise from God. Abram had no children and he desired to be a father. He was a man who was faithful to God and trusted in God so much so that it was credited to him as righteousness. And yet he went childless for so many decades. One day, God made a promise to make him a father and not just of one, but many nations. At this time, Abram was 75 years old when he received this promise from God. The next time God appeared unto Abram to perform the covenant he had made with Abram, it was 24 years later. That means that Abram was 99 years old. At this time, Abram, whose name was changed to Abraham, was old and the womb of his wife was dead. Even so, according to the time of life, they had a child when Abraham was 100 years old. Now, imagine what was going on in the mind of Abraham for those 24 years of waiting for a child. When you think about it, it was as if God was doing nothing. But guess what? God is not in the business of wasting our time. At the right time, Abraham got the promised son through his wife. Ishmael was not the promised son. He came about as a result of the impatience that was in Sarah and a lack of incorruptible trust in God. The lesson to learn from this story is that in those 24 years, God was developing Abraham and stretching his faith. He was investing in the character of Abram. That is why when God tested Abraham to offer Isaac as a burnt offering, Abraham did not hesitate. In his eyes, he fully trusted God to a point where he could not deny him Isaac. The chances are, if the promise was fulfilled at the wrong time, the story would have been very different from what we know. Here is a challenge for you. Can you exercise the kind of trust and patience that Abraham had concerning that thing you have been asking from God? It may seem like nothing is happening. It may seem like the more you pray, the more things are getting worse. Stay sturdy and full of faith. Learn the lessons that God is teaching you at that moment. Stretch your faith as much as God wants you to stretch it. 
If you forget everything else, remember that it takes more than things manifesting physically to know that God is doing something on your behalf. It takes strong faith. It is this unwavering faith that helps you see beyond the physical and into the realm of faith where you know that God is doing something that will be marvelous in your sight. I know sometimes you can be in a destiny rush and you want to see things happen with the speed of lightning. Let me tell you one secret. The only person that rushes you is the devil. He is the one that wants you to make you feel like if something does not happen within a particular time, everything will fall apart. He is the only one that makes you feel as if things are in the category of to do it or die. So when the time frame you had in mind comes and goes, you will start doubting God and his word, which is precisely what the devil wants. When he causes you to doubt God, he has succeeded in short circuit in the power of God. So instead of remaining in the faith to see things through, you will give up and start feeling frustrated about life. So anytime you feel like God is not doing anything, be cautious not to meditate on this thought for too long. Whatever you allow into your mind and you meditate on it long enough, it will be your reality. Always exercise your faith as Abraham did. Instead of allowing that feeling, I urge you that you pick up your Bible and study all those beautiful stories of the men of old and how they exercise their faith. They will stir up your faith in extraordinary ways. Read about David. He was anointed to be the next king after God rejected Saul, but why did the transition of kingship take that long? Why did David go through all that he went through while waiting to ascend the throne? He was going through his training and character development. Without his character development, that throne would have also been the end of him like it was for the end of Saul. Pride would have crawled in if David had skipped the training period. Read about the story of the children of Israel. All they knew was that God was taking them from Egypt and into the Promised Land. But why did they take all that time before they got to the Promised Land? There was a shorter route that God would have taken them through, but why did he take them through the long way? Of course they faced so many challenges and God delivered them out of them all. However, the focus was not the Promised Land. Why did they take that long and it seemed as if God was doing nothing concerning them possessing the Promised Land? They were going through their training. And if they had gone through the shorter route, they would have met war and they were not ready. When they were ready to take possession of the land in God's perfect time, he successfully gave them the land. You see, God will always have your interest at heart. Even so, this is what he is saying in the book of Isaiah 60.22, the NET translation. The least of you will multiply into a thousand. The smallest of you will become a large nation. When the right time comes, I, the Lord, will quickly do this. The latter part of the verse above says that the Lord will do it at the right time and he will do it quickly. That lets you know that it is not about your time but his time. It also shows you that God does not move with the speed of a snail. He does things with speed. That is why he heals the sick and raises the dead instantly. God is faithful enough to ensure that you get your heart's desires at the right time because he is more interested in your soul and your well-being as well. May you have the strength to hold on and the faith to see God doing something even when it does not feel like it. May you be conscious enough to count your blessings even as you await the manifestation of your desires. Trust me, there are so many things God is doing for you even now. Is your heart faithful enough to see and appreciate all those little miracles? Proverbs 10.6 says, Blessings are upon the head of the just, but violence covers the mouth of the wicked. There are many blessings in your life. When something else is taking longer, focus on those that are happening now. These will give you the staying power. Do not let anything fool you and draw you back regardless of what it is, even time itself. God does not function within 24 hours like us. He is a timeless God and so it never restricts him. When you finally see what God has been doing for you in the background, you will testify that it was at the perfect time. When it finally happens, it will come with more strength, faith, more conviction of God, a greater staying power, and a better understanding of the timing of God.